Hello and welcome to a new episode of 7 Facts. If you love geography and history, subscribe right now. I promise it'll be worth it. The Republic of Kabardino-Balkaria is one of Russia's many federal subjects. It's a Caucasian Republic housing some 860,000 people. The country's name comes from the two ethnic groups that historically resided here, the Kabardai, a Circassian people, and the Balkars, a Turkic nation. Russians have a major presence too, of course, almost one quarter of the people. Most people never heard of this place, so chances are most people watching this video don't know much about it. Which is great, because I've collected some great facts, so keep watching. As with other parts of the Caucasus, the area that is now known as kabardino balkaria has been inhabited for many thousands of years. The Caucasus are thought to have been part of the migration routes of ancient man towards Europe, so this place has a lot of history. The first traces of the Kabardians date back to the 9th century, while the Balkars appeared on the scene about two centuries later. Both nations had their fair share of overlords, starting with the Mongol Empire, then Georgia, the Persian Empire, the Ottoman Empire, the Russian Empire, and finally the USSR and today the Russian Federation. They even had a short period of independence of about 35 years in the 18th century, before they were annexed by Russia. Despite a long and tumultuous history, these nations somehow managed to survive and keep their cultures intact, which really says a lot about their spirit. As with other parts of the Soviet Union, kabardino balkaria also suffered from Stalin's deportation campaigns. In 1942, soldiers of the Axis power occupied this region. It was the Romanian mountain troops who at the time fought for the Axis side that occupied Nalchik, the present-day capital of the Republic. This was actually the farthest point of Axis advance in the Caucasus. The locals, including the Jewish population, managed to resist and survive this awful period, but the outcasting of the fascist forces wasn't the end of their suffering. In 1944, Joseph Stalin falsely accused the Balkars of collaborating with Nazi Germany and deported the entire population. Their name was deleted from the territory which was renamed the Kabardin Socialist Republic. This was done to make sure that the local Muslim population will not give the Soviets any trouble in case they were going to invade Turkey and the Middle East. The Balkar population was only allowed to return in 1957, after Stalin's death and the de-Stalinization of the Soviet Union. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you one thing. This video isn't sponsored, none of them are so far, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. Right. With that said, let's go to fact number 4. The capital city of kabardino balkaria is Nalchik. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the city, just like the rest of the former Union, suffered greatly from an economic depression. But Nalchik managed to recover quite well from this harsh period. Now it is a popular holiday, climbing and health resort with several sanatoriums. Actually, about a quarter of the city is defined as a resort, so if you fancy visiting kabardino balkaria its capital city is probably a good place to start. What's the highest mountain peak in Europe? The vast majority of people would answer Mont Blanc, in the Alps. But what if I tell you that's wrong? The highest mountain peak in Europe is actually Mount Elbrus, in kabardino balkaria it stands at a height of 5,642 meters, more than 800 meters higher than Mont Blanc. But of course, there's a catch. Mount Elbrus and the whole Caucasus mountains are right at the intersection of Europe and Asia. So its title of the highest peak in Europe depends on how you actually define the borders of Europe, which is another subject that I don't want to get into. Regardless, this beast of a mountain, which is actually a giant dormant volcano, is one of the greatest sights to see, probably in the whole of Russia. One of the world's deepest lakes, Blue Lake, is located in kabardino balkaria It may be relatively small in size, but it is by no means shallow. Its maximum depth goes to 258 meters. 
Nicknamed Tzarek Kel, the lake is a favorite for divers who plunge into its clear waters and sink to anywhere between 30 and 50 meters. But I do have to tell you something. Tzarek Kel means stinky lake and there's a reason for that. The water contains high amounts of hydrogen sulfide, which smells bad. Also, 258 meters is its maximum known depth, but its actual depth is still unknown. While not as involved in the general conflict across the North Caucasus, kabardino balkaria and especially Nalchik has been repeatedly attacked by rebel forces. One of the worst attacks happened in 2005. Several security buildings were attacked, 142 people died and more than 200 wounded. The shootings went on for 28 hours, paralyzing the city and striking fear into the hearts of its 240,000 inhabitants. This was one of the worst raids of this long Caucasian conflict. Thankfully, in the last years, violence had died down, which is always good to hear. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time, bye.